In this video, we're going to compare three different styles of sleeping pads and we're going to discover which one makes most sense for you given your budget, your sleeping style, and how hard you want to work to set it up. We just came back from a camping trip with the little ones and my wife being the thoughtful, caring person that she is decided to get all three types of sleeping mattresses. Links to all three of these sleeping pads are going to be in the description and the comments below. If you want to learn more about them, check them out. Click these links right here. It'll really help the channel grow and it'll really help keep encouraging fathers to go out and adventure and explore with their little ones and their families. You're going to definitely want to stick to the end of the video because there is a clear winner, but we got to build up to that and it's important to note right now that this is all from a car camping experience so the actual weight of the mattresses and how much it packs up like the size it packs up to wasn't a big determining factor to that without further ado let's jump into the first one we're gonna start out with a thermarest base camp self-inflating foam camping pad so here's what it looks like rolled up I've got the release valve here tightened which I should untighten it right here I'm just going to roll it out and it's going to self inflate right here. We're going to talk about it. All right, so it's rolled out, it's doing its thing. So the pros of this thing are that it packs pretty small because it's nothing but foam and air. And also it's pretty light. And I mentioned that's not important for us, but if you were to go backpacking, this is a really great option. There are two cons with this sleeping pad. The first one is that in terms of support, it offers the same amount of support as just the regular foam. And then two, the self-inflating thing is kind of a bit gimmicky. I mean, it's got cool tech. It does inflate itself, but you do got to top it off. It might make sense for backpackers who need something really light and something that can be set up really easily. But for car camping, I'd probably skip this one. All right, next is the Thermarest Ridge rest classic foam camping sleeping pad it also packs very light and it's about double the size of the self-inflating pad so to set it up it's really easy you just roll it out and there you go it's set up pros it's easy to set up it's light and it's the cheapest option there's only one con in my book and that is that it doesn't offer that much support but that's kind of to be expected with the most budget-friendly option. If you're a back sleeper, this thing will do the trick just fine. But if you're a side sleeper, you might wake up with a sore shoulder. So honestly, the Ridge Crest pad is really nice for what you get, but it's marginally better than like a yoga mat. So if you had one of those foam yoga mats at home or two even, just use that over the Ridge Crest. But if you're feeling a little charitable to Thermarest, then go with the Ridge Crest. You won't regret it if you're a back sleeper. Last but not least, we have the Thermarest Neo Air Camper SV Camping Air Mattress. I don't know why their names are so complicated. Setting this guy up is not bad if you have the right tactics. You can just blow air into this thing, but I never had good luck with this, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Instead of using my breath, I'm going to use this pump, the same pump that we use for our raft. So we're going to have it in our car anyways. And I will show you how many pumps it takes here. So I don't know how many pumps that was, but that was like a minute of setup time with a pump. And it feels pretty nice. Pros. It offers the most support. It's adjustable and it's small and light when you pack it up. If this is too firm, you can let some air out right here. Make it a little softer for yourself. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're a back sleeper, this will work. But if you're a side sleeper, this is the one you're gonna wanna go with. By virtue of being the thickest one with the most amount of air, it was just the most plushy and if you got like roots growing or big boulders or big rocks under the tent, this one is going to be your best bet. Neo Air, the way to go. 
I got to try all three of them. So one night I used this Neo Air camping mattress. The other night I actually stacked the foam and the other one, Base Camp, together. And my favorite, because I'm a side sleeper, is definitely this blue one here. This Thermarest Neo Air Camper SV Camping Air Mattress. Wow. My recommendation is going to be based on what type of sleeper you are. If you're a back sleeper, the foam will definitely be more than enough, especially if you're car camping. If you're a backpacker, you might want to consider the base camp self-inflating pad because that'll pack smaller and it'll be lighter for you. But if you're a side sleeper, you definitely have to go with the blue one, the Neo Air Camper Base Camp Thingy Air Majigger Thingy. Links to these three camping mattresses are in the description down below and also in the comments section down below. If you want to check them out, click on these links. Better yet, if you want to purchase them, purchase from the links below because it'll really help the channel. Keep encouraging fathers, new fathers, to explore and adventure with their young children. If you found this content helpful, hit the thumbs up icon down below and consider subscribing for more content like this. If you want to catch these sleeping pads in action, consider clicking this video up here or this video down here. Consider subscribing by hitting the circle icon down below. Make it a great day and I'll catch you on the next